pick up. I... I didn't think you were going to answer. Sorry, but I... I was just... sleeping. What's going on? Father wants to meet you. He said he's sorry about everything he did, but he was afraid you'd leave the other hunter to them. Where is he now? Out in the Kipple, by the moon bus. Way out, where the tunnel ends. Tell him to stay where he is, until I can find a way for all of us to escape. But... I thought we were going away together. Just you and me. Maybe we'll do it after I talk to him. You promise? We could buy a car, from that place next to the arcade. A ground car wouldn't get us too far. One of those flying cars would, though. It could take us all the way out to that beautiful lake. You know, the one with the trees and the flowers? Lucy, there's a good chance... I'll meet you there, okay? At the place where he sells the cars. Wait, Lucy... Oh, I love you so much, Ray. I knew you'd come. I promised you, didn't I? Father wanted me to stay with him. But when I told him I was going with you, he gave us his blessing. He's an extraordinary guy. I know. You gonna miss him? Of course. But now that I have you, everything will be all right, won't it? Sure it will. Promise me that we're going to find that special place. The one with the trees and the flowers and the beautiful clear lake. It exists somewhere. It's so much more than a dream, isn't it? It's where we were always meant to be. And we'll be there, together. How's it going, Ray? Wait a minute, I thought you was going to rest her. You don't get paid the big bucks to think crazy. Any of your spinners up and running? Uh, sure, got one up on the roof. A real beaut ain't a cheap ride, though, I'll tell you right now. I gotta take it for a test drive. Ray, I, I always liked you. True, I hardly know you. You seem like a stand-up guy. Eventually, when this fiasco is all over and done with, I, I know you'll get me on the come, right? You're a stand-up guy, crazy. Well, that I am. They want me to tell your friend where you're going? Friend? You know, the doll with the cigarette. She told me you were in trouble and she wanted to help. What should I tell her? Ray. You tell her we're headed south. 10-4. I'm scared, Ray. Crystal ain't gonna let up until we're both six feet under. Ray. What? Evening, Slim. Thanks for bringing her here. It makes my end a hell of a lot easier. You're the coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. <coughs> nice shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. See you again real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. Can you get it working? Ah, uh, we'll have to find something else. Maybe a ground car. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. I won't let them shoot us down like that. Where'd you get that bomb? I stole it from Sadiq. We can die together. The only thing we'll feel is the love we have for each other. I refuse to go out that way. We have no other choice. We've got to. Wait a minute. We're right on top of the old subway system. But they'll follow us. Not if we can get a ground car down there. Hell, we can drive right through that tunnel and disappear. What if it's collapsed? It's worth a shot. Let me try to get the floor open. Arm that thing, all right? But wait for my signal before you drop it in. Now!
Come on, they'll be coming through the door any second. I knew we'd make it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I didn't know where we were going, and I didn't much care. Away from the city first, and then as far as this heap could take us. I hadn't gotten enough of the DNA information to save either of us, so we had a limited amount of time together. We couldn't go back to the city. No doubt our days there were number two. So I decided just to drive, to keep on going in a straight line until we could go no further. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. Who the hell do you think you're getting, McCoy? You're gonna fry! The hunter, he do us a favor, man. He bagged us a traitor. Brother, you killed a human. There's no going back now. Come out and show yourself. First things first, you must decide where you belong, brother. Stop calling me that! You've wasted much precious time already. No more choices, Ray McCoy. Meet us at the moon bus. Together we will face the tigers that wait in the night's forest. Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steele is looking for you, and Bryant. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking, not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. But we don't live forever, do we? Oh, God. No. She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear, but now I had a little message of my own to deliver. Your floor number, please. almost got away with it, Slim. And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who? The mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I 
guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now, why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You're gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go in the machine now? See if you can answer this question. Brother Mon, wondering when you make it out here. Took a little while to realize where I belonged. The maker built you right. What about you, Sadiq? Aren't you a killer? You bet, Ma. Human, too. My woman, she be replicant. Tried to get away from a master. A blade runner shot her. I'm sorry. Uh, happened long time ago. I take my revenge where I can. Help the reps, much as possible. The moon bus up and running yet? All it needs is fuel. Clovis want to see you. Bring you back into family. I say, he prove himself, welcome back. One happy family. There got to be something around here, man. Old reactor cores. Anything still got to glow. The generator, it take almost anything. You find me something for the engines, man? Not yet. Keep looking. You said yourself Clovis wants to see me. You're not getting by me till I be sure. For real, I'm thinking. Going. You see Clovis. He not got too much time left. Welcome, brother. We have very little time. I spoke to Sadiq. He's installing the power source right now. Excellent. And do you have something for me? DNA information? He's a hunter no more. He has come home. It's time to go, my friend. Where are we going? To the heavens, brother. To fulfill our destinies off-world. And this time, the memories we create will be our own. Well, give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. Who the hell do you think you're getting, McCoy? You're gonna fry! The hunter? He do us a favor, man. He bagged us a traitor. Brother, you've killed a human. There's no going back now. Come out and show yourselves. First things first. You must decide where you belong, brother. 
Stop calling me that! You've wasted much precious time already. No more choices, Ray McCoy. Meet us at the moon bus. Together we will face the tigers that wait in the night's forest. I knew a trap when I saw one. This was Sadiq's work for sure. You almost got away with it, Slim. And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who, the mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now. Why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You're gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go in the machine now? See if you can answer this question. Expecting you. They're all dead. You're the last one. I wish I could just leave. Just power up this ship and fly away. <laughs> but there's nowhere else to go. And no more time. You want me to feel sorry for you. And what about you, Ray McCoy? <laughs> After what you did to my family. To my friends. Do you not also seek forgiveness? I don't need to. <laughs> I thought I could cheat my destiny. I should have cherished what little time I had instead of wasting even one precious minute on revenge. <laughs> my hands are labor day and night, and ease comes never in my sight. <laughs> wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. <coughs> Another sun feeds our life streams. We are not warmed with thy beams. <coughs> Thou measurest not the time to me, nor yet the space that I do see. <coughs> My mind is not with thy light arrayed. Thy terrors shall not make me afraid. What a waste. I see Steel didn't make it. I could have used you about 10 minutes ago. You didn't need any help, McCoy. I thought it was all over when Steel showed up. I saw the corpse back there. I never thought she'd turn out to be a rep sympathizer. People are unpredictable. Chief Bryant wants to talk to you. He says you're really ready now. It never ends, does it? Uh-uh. You're a real Blade Runner now. Full retirement bonuses and everything. You've done a man's job, sir. How come I don't feel good about it? Who knows? Buy yourself another animal, maybe. A real one, not a Tyrell fake. She wasn't fake. Whatever you want to believe, McCoy. 